Hey dreamers, I am here with Helen Arcantu, and we are going to talk about the Teaneck International Film Festival. Yes, that's right. At Dreamers Unite, we are committed to covering the Teaneck International Film Festival. If you have not gotten your tickets yet, you can still go to Film dot tnetfilmfestival.org. Today we're going to talk about the film Belly of the Beast and the YWCA Northern New Jersey is one of the co-sponsors of that film. So Helen, without further ado, let me bring you in on this conversation about Belly of the Beast and why your organization um, believes it's important to bring this uh, film to the TNEC International Film Festival. Well, this film really resonated for the YWC in Northern New Jersey because it is so aligned with our mission, which is to eliminate racism and empower women. Um, educating our community through personal stories and through facts has always been a key strategy for us in our quest to eliminate racism. And this film, this documentary, has so many important stories told. Um, they're, they're layered within this film. and. So so many facts um, that really are spotlighted and quite frankly are astounding. Um, and they all point over and over again to systemic racism and gross inequities for black and brown people living in this country. So it truly um, you know, was connected to the YWC and our work. We felt that it shines a light on issues that um, women and black and brown women, you know, have struggled with around sexual violence, domestic violence, motherhood, classism, economic equality, reproductive justice, racism. I mean, there's so much in there. Um, it shines a light, I believe, on the fact that black women are historically the most underserved and marginalized vulnerable group in our society. It also shines a light on how life altering and quite frankly deadly it is for our black and brown communities when those who have decision making power in this country are racist. Yes. And finally, I think it also shines a light on um, when people see that something is wrong and they fail to do the right thing, um, the, the outcome of that. And, um, you know, my, my hope is that people see this film and you know the discomfort which you should feel watching it uh, you know moves you to a place of action and never being someone who watches something and doesn't take action when it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit for those people who don't know really you can go on again uh, tnecfilmfestival.org um, that tells you a little bit more about the film but Tell people a little bit more about the film and uh, the, the premise of it. Well, it's a, you know, it, it's kind of broken up into two parts. First, the, the first piece of it is the journey of um, a kind of atrocity that's uncovered, you know, in, in, in a jail. And then the second part of it is the journey of trying to impact, you know, policy so that something like that never happens again. And, um, you know, those two pieces together are, are the film. Um, and then layered within it is everything that I just, you know, spoke about. But it's, mm -hmm. it's, really, um, it's really an important film to see. And as I said, I, I, um, I believe it's a film that will leave um, the viewer sitting and understanding, you know, responsibility and action, you know, is needed. For, from each of us uh, mm -hmm. in this time. These women have had involuntary sterilization. Yes. While they were in prison. Yes, yes, which is, again, uh, unbelievable to some, probably to someone like me and many people like me, but of course that's because of my life experience and my privilege. I don't know that, you know, others who, you know, come from, black and brown communities may watch this and may unfortunately may not be surprised because the systemic racism and, and the, um, you know, issues that are, these women are dealing with are something that, you know, others have had to experience. That's right. Um, but again, that's also why it's important for all of us to see the film because I think it, it 
hopefully again activates us, you know, it understands that, you know, together is where our power comes. Because when you look at the second half of the film and trying to change policy and affect change around this atrocity, um, you see how, you know, what really is needed to make that happen and what is needed to make that successful and how this is something that should have been easy to change. Yes. And yet it, it wasn't. And why is that? Right. Why is that? You mentioned about too, watching the film and then taking some type of action. What kind of offering can you give um, to someone who may want to take action, but they don't even know where to start? Uh, I mean, the film itself focuses on, you know, um, as I said, there's a, a lot of different issues that are, you know, detailed, you know, in the film, for sure, reproductive rights is, is clearly, you know, one of them. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I always say, you know, action should start and can start in the most important way, which is voting. <laughs> Uh, making sure that you are registered to vote, making sure that you are educated on the issues, and making sure that you actually, you know, take that action. And that when you are voting, that you are voting and thinking about not only yourself and your mm -hmm. family and your kind, but that you're thinking to the, you know, the, our broader communities and what is best for um, justice for all. <laughs> you know, justice and, for all. all. Justice um, equality for all. And, and voting isn't where it stops. As I always say, you know, we, we put, you know, we put these elected officials in office. It doesn't matter where and what level they're at. Um, they work for us. And, you know, as we all know from our own work situations, part of the way you're successful in your work is someone has to tell you and give you some guidance on what to do. Um, that's our role. That's our civic responsibility. It's not just to vote, but it's to make sure that you are in regular communication with those that are in office affecting change on the different levels around you and um, calling them, emailing them, sending them a postcard and making sure that they understand where you stand on various issues, especially on issues like reproductive justice yes. or issues on women's health and women having control of their health and decision-making, ultimate decision-making authority around their health. Because at the end of the day, there will never be equality for women and they will never be um, you know, justice for all until we have that level of empowerment to being able to make those own decisions for ourselves. You are a hundred, two hundred percent and beyond correct. Helen, thank you so much for joining me. And please, Belly of the Beast, it is really a must-see, powerful, poignant film. And um, tnecfilmfestival.org is where you can go and get your tickets and the festival is a festival film festival with a conscience yes activism and making change again helen thank you so much and dreamers if you have not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more uplifting elevating and inspirational content and i will see you again next time on dreamers unite